Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. It is time for another Three Minute Thursday. Do you know why we call it Three Minute Thursday? I don't either. But Seven Minute Sunday sounded a little too much. So we're gonna roll that intro, and you may have noticed that during the intro, we have a gyroscope spinning around. It's an inexpensive scientific tool that your kids can have fun with and also learn about the conservation of angular momentum. If you want a gyroscope for home, you can click on the link in the description down below. Time to roll that intro. Three minutes, start the clock now. Today we're going to be reviewing the Smithsonian Magna Gyroscope because the only thing more fun than magnets are floating magnets. It says we'll learn about the properties of magnetism, perform magnetic experiments, spin, lift, and levitate. Because who doesn't like to float things? All right, so let's get into it. A manual instruction poster. Okay, that's interesting. Also comes with a brief bit of history about the Smithsonian. It says here James Smithson, a British scientist, drew up in his will in 1826 naming his nephew as beneficiary. Smithson stipulated that should the nephew die without heirs, the estate would go to the United States to found at Washington under the name of the Smithsonian Institute. So we have the Smithsonian, one of the greatest institutions in the world because somebody's nephew didn't have any children? Time to fact check. <laughs> Apparently it's right. If you go to the Smithsonian's website, it actually has a copy of James Smithson's will where it says his nephew will get everything he has. And if he doesn't have kids, it comes to the United States. That's an amazing stroke of fortune for the United States. All right. So it looks like we have our base stand, our magnet gyroscope that's it's quite strong some weights for balance, and a launching plate. All right, after reading the instructions, it says, use the launching pad, place it in the center, and then try to spin the top on top of the launching pad, and then raise the launch, and then raise the launching pad. In whatever direction the magnet floats to, you adjust the outer poles until it floats in the center. If it all else fails, get your kids involved. So I've enlisted some help and we're gonna see what happens first. Daughter can get this thing to work or I can solve the Rubik's Cube. So it looks like I win and it pretty much confirms that this scientific 
toy model magnet gyroscope. It is terrible. We recommend it to nobody. If you have a homeschooling family in the neighborhood that you don't like, perhaps you can give it to them as a gift. Link in description. Otherwise, don't buy this thing. Let's just say you can get it to work. Maybe I have bad fingers. On the box, it implies you can perform all kinds of magnetic experiments. Well, you really can't. It's just this. It's just this one floating experiment or demonstration and nothing more. There aren't any other instructional materials in the box that come with it as far as giving to your kids or having lessons with them. In fact, there's more about the history of the Smithsonian than actual instructions on magnetism in this. So right now, this currently sells on Amazon for $24.99. I'd say it's not worth 24 cents. So that is it for this week's 3 Minute Thursday. If this video did nothing more than cause you to save money by not wasting it on this piece of crap, it was louder than I wanted it to be, then hit that like button down below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We're brand new. It helps us out. And we will see you next week. Peace.